Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I am a second grade teacher in West Michigan, and today is day four of classroom setup. So if you've missed my last vlogs, make sure you go check those out first. I will have them all linked below. And today is day four already. We have gotten so much done in here. There's still a few things left to do. So my mom is on her way, and we're gonna get some things done around the room. And I'm really, really excited because it's all coming together, and I believe this is going to be the last day of classroom setup, which is very exciting. So let me walk you around, show you what the room is looking like right now, and then we will get to work here we go okay so I got the front table ready for open house it wasn't all the way ready but a little start this giant pencil is from Michaels I got it on clearance for $15 half off and then also I had put those read letters up I can't remember if I already filmed that or not and I have all my little book buddies up there and then walking around the room I had a big hot mess at my front table but honestly like a manageable hot mess at least with the little flip books that um, are from TPT so these are awesome I like sticking a magnet it on the back because then the families can put it right on their fridge or wherever and reference it throughout the school year so I had one in English and one in Spanish and then I got the desks arranged I don't like love how they're arranged but it'll do it's better than you know nothing so I'll take it uh, the library was looking really really good and then the back of the room space and then also I set up my influential people posters this is a new set that I have on my TPT it's called the super pack so I needed to make a few more stuff so that way I could put them up and have it be like even and then rocking chair pillows all that stuff was set up over here and I had all the book boxes um, pretty much set up they just needed a couple more things but they had the reading street books and the math books and yeah the room is looking really really good the lights look so good my mom hung those up and she spent a really long time doing them so then I had a lot of lamination to cut out and just like random things for like bulletin boards and stuff like that so that is what I worked on next Okay, so I just started hanging up my little leader wall. I'm really excited about this, but I wanted to stop and do a little plug that if you're interested in purchasing these, I sell these on my Teachers Pay Teachers. I have a ton of different packs, and I just came out with a super pack that has this specific set in it, so I will link those below if you're interested, but I have some for everything. I have like a STEM pack, and I have just like general packs, and I have pretty much anything you could want. I have it on my Teachers Pay Teachers, but this new super pack has these dotted border ones, and then also there's just a ton of other options options in this set and I also have a bunch in Spanish as well and it's also a bigger pack than normal so if you're interested I will link it below but yes so far so good I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest up right now Okay, so I've officially finished my leader wall, except for I think I'm going to add to it. So I have all of these in the back but I also have this little wall space right here and I'm thinking it would look kind of cool if it was like wrapped around and I had more this way but that means I need 12 more and I only have three left so I think I might make nine more tonight at home and then do that in the morning because I just think that would look really cool and then my idea is eventually I think it'd be cool to get like a little stool and put a little stool over here that says like leader stool or like I'm a leader or something like that like paint something on it or cricket something and then I can take pictures of them saying like caught being a leader and then like say why they're being a leader or just have the sign and like take a picture of them in this corner and share 
share it with parents and families and stuff. So that is my idea, but that is not all gonna happen today. <laughs> in fact, I'm starting to get really tired and kind of just wanting to wrap it up here. So mom's working on a little project on the stage. There she is, wave mom. Hi, there she is. <laughs> She's helping me make some banners because I can't remember if I've talked about this yet or not. So let's walk over this way. I have this cute little dollhouse bookshelf and I'm going to call it La Casita, which means the little house. And I'm going to have all of my Spanish books over here. So I was really, really, really blessed. And I had a donor's shoes funded that had like $500 worth of books in Spanish. And then also I already had some as well. So all of my books in Spanish are going to be in one spot. And then also I'm just going to have like some fun flashcards and resources and maybe like bookmarks that have different Spanish words and like all that fun stuff. So that's the plan for this space right over here and I'll take you a little bit closer. So I just made the little banner for the top and then mom is making a couple little banners of flags for the next couple of shelves. So I'm not gonna finish that today, but we're off to a good start with it. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'll show you around the room as well. And I think that might be it for today. I'm worried that I didn't really film very much for today's vlog though. So we'll see if I have to combine it with some footage from tomorrow, I don't really know. <laughs> so, but let me go ahead and take you off the tripod right now and I'll walk you around and show you what it's looking like. Okay, so I made this cute little banner using papel picado, it's called. Um, it's not actual papel picado, it's just something I made in Cricut, and it says La Casita, the little house. And then this is a little muñeca, or a little doll, that I bought when I was in Mexico, and I think she's so cute. So she's gonna sit there, and then I might like decorate this top part. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do right there just yet, but right now it's empty. And then I have a bunch of picture books. And then below that, I have a bunch of chapter books and like elephant and piggy books and all that fun stuff. And all of these are in Spanish, which is so fun. Okay, and then back here, I have some paperwork for open house. I'm purposely making it focus on my hand because I have my school name on the paper that's behind my hand, but just trust me, there's lots of papers for open house over there. Mom was able to find a heavy duty like hook magnet, which got my clock onto this whiteboard, though I am noticing that one of my labels fell, so I'll have to put that back on. I do have these on my TPT if you're interested. They're just like really simple. And then we're gonna put up a little digital clock next to it and have kids sign out just their name and what time they left for the bathroom, just so I can quickly look up and see who's in the bathroom. And then also I'll have some hand sanitizer right here and they can just put the hand sanitizer bottle on their desk. I do have a bunch of books right here that I'm going to put on this bookshelf right here, like my display bookshelf for the first day of school. I have my bean bag back here and a little pillow that says be awesome today. That was a target find a few years ago. My library is looking really, really good over here. Couch space. Nothing has really changed over here, I don't think. I had mom switch out a couple of my stuffed animals, just ones that like fit better because I have some on the top of this shelf, but then most of them are over here. And I did put the read letters up yesterday. I can't remember if I showed you that. I probably did. So I have those up. I got some stuff put behind my desk, but again, there's like a bunch of school stuff over there. So I don't really need to get any closer. And here I have a new tapestry and a new educational blanket. I'm gonna stick on the screen the company that makes these right now. These are really cool. I'll show them better in a future video, but the top one is a map of Michigan. And then the bottom one is different butterflies and plants, which is really cool. So they're like educational tapestries and blankets, which I'm really excited about. Again, I'll show those better in a different video. My back room. I got out my Cricut because I was going to use it and then I didn't end up using it today, but I probably will tomorrow. So I'm just gonna leave it out. But I have my little space back here looking good. I don't think I've really changed anything in here today. I moved a box back here and then I added some things to my Cricut bin. And then I have some other stuff that I've just moved back there. Oh yeah, mom put up the affirmation station today. So this is where you take my little like outfit pictures. Hold on, let's move this out of the way. Here we go. So mom hung up the little affirmation station today. Again, I saw these on my TPC as well. So they're in English and in Spanish. There's just a bunch of those. And then I can't remember if I've really showed this space yet, but I was able to get this bookshelf from a coworker. I have all my elephant and piggy books at the bottom, and then these are books that kids can take home. I have my calendar. One of my coworkers gave me this cute little Beanie Baby, so I put that over here. And then that's actually a dog toy, but I think I'm gonna have that be the reading buddy for birthdays. So when it's a kid's birthday, they can read with that or like have it on their desk for the day. And it's like a crinkly dog toy, but it doesn't have a squeaker in it. So I think that'll work. I think that was from Target, I believe. And then there's my book buddies. More book buddies over there. 
I got this pencil from Michael's yesterday and I wanted to cricket my name on it, but that's just not gonna happen before tomorrow and that's okay. I put together a little recycling area for my cans over here. I know it's a lot of cans, but admittedly it's between my mom and I over the last several days, so it's not that bad. <laughs> so I have that in this space. And I'm trying to think, I feel like that's pretty much it. I think I showed you the door yesterday, mom and I worked on that. No, actually just mom, I think mom solo worked on that. So there's that, turn in bins, microwave. Um, I did put the desks in a formation that I thought made sense-ish, and then mom hung up those little signs yesterday, and then I put um, the kids' name tags on the back of their chairs, but I don't want to show you that because I don't want to show you student names, obviously, so I'm just kind of showing you the ceiling, and then here's mom. She just made these little banners, so I bought these flags off of Teachers Pay Teachers, and they were like full page flags, and then I just shrunk them down to make a little banner out of them, so I'll link the product on TPT if you're interested, but these are Spanish-speaking countries, plus I put in the U.S. as well, and yeah, we're gonna hang these on La Casita, the little house, the little bookshelf, so that is the plan. Oh, and then also today I made this sign for open house. I think it's so cute. The little sign, like cutout thing, is from Michael's, and then and I just used my Cricut to cut out the letters and then the little smiley faces, and then I had mom glue them on. I also started to put up my schedule over here, but I realized I forgot one <laughs> right here, so I'll need to print that out and bring it back. But there's the start of my schedule for the day. Hello, sweet friends. Now it is Monday night. It is right around eight o'clock. We had our open house tonight. About an hour ago it ended, and then I've just been working on some things around my room, and I was talking to my best friend Melissa on the phone for a little bit, and whatever. So I will show you around and show you what our open house room setup was looking like and then also to show you the room in general and then I think that will be it for my setup vlogs. Overall, open house went really, really well. I had almost all of my students and their families come, which was so nice. It was great to meet the kids. A lot of them I already knew because I see them in the hallways and maybe I've had like siblings or whatever. So a lot of them were familiar faces, which also was really fun, but also it was fun to meet the kids that I didn't know already and put some faces with the names and all that fun stuff. So I'm really excited for my class this year. I think it's gonna be a great class and yeah I am pretty tired so I'm gonna show you around really quick and then I'm going to skedaddle also I'll insert a picture of the dress I'm wearing right now because I don't really feel like walking back there and showing you the whole thing so I will have a picture up right here but I got this dress at Kohl's and yeah it's really cute it was perfect for meet the teacher open house night because it is very 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 hot today and it's very very hot and humid in my classroom there is no air conditioning I've talked about in previous videos I will say it again there is no air conditioning so it is hot so I needed to wear something where I wouldn't get like super sweaty so so this worked out really well. It was really airy and comfortable. And yes, that's what it looks like. So anyways, I'm gonna take you off right now and then show you around the room. Okay, so when parents came in, this is where they started. And then I just turned those upside down because they have student information on them. But they signed in right there and then grabbed a checklist and a pen and walked around the room and got started. Here's an example of what was on my students' desks when they came in. So this is a flip book, and then on the back there is a magnet so they can put it on the fridge. And there's just a bunch of important information in here that parents and families might want to reference throughout the school year. And then also, if students speak Spanish predominantly at home, then I also had this in Spanish. So I gave them an English version and a Spanish version so that way they could choose. And then I have a little link to our Amazon wish list. This is a freebie on Teachers Pay Teachers from teach me mrs z and she has some really great stuff so i have that and then also i like to do a little read aloud book so i read aloud this book it's called a letter from your teacher on the first day of school so i read this aloud and then i just like filmed it and i put me reading it on google classroom so the kids can scan the code and listen to me read it at home so yes that is what was on their desks when they came in and then this section back here, I had this big two balloon hanging. It's just hanging from the ceiling on string. And it kind of just like alerted families to go to the back of the room. And then over here, I just had some different things for the parents and families to fill out. So conferences, a little survey that they could also do on their phones. And then this is a piece of paperwork that we need for the school. So yes, I have those that were back here. So yes, I had those back here and then families could sign up for what they needed to sign up for. 
As for new things around the room, I can't remember if I showed you this or not, but I did end up adding a couple more different columns over here of influential people posters. I'm so excited about these. I think they turned out really great. I love, love, love how they turned out and there's just like so many different ones. And yes, I just love it. I think it looks so cute. When families came in, I had this on the board. So it says, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. And then just gives them some other instructions. I actually sell these slides on my Teachers Pay Teachers if you're interested. So yes, I think that they're really cute. I worked hard on those and I have a ton of different options as well. Some of them have editable titles. So this is one that has an editable title and then other ones have like cute fonts that are not editable. So yeah, lots of different options. So I'll link that below as well. And then down here, I just had a spot for if families wanted to bring in any supplies like tissues and like gallon bags and stuff like that. Then I just said that they could put them up on the stage. A lot of families like to wait till the first day of school to have their kids bring stuff, which is totally fine too. But yes, I have these for right now. That is all for my very last setup vlog of the year. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this series. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already so you can follow along with my journey as a second grade teacher. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.